Hello everyone, uh, video is going to be a little different today. So about two years ago, during the big C times, I uh, bought this battery charger from uh, Eurocar Parts, uh, 8 amp uh, battery charger, 12 volt. And uh, yeah, well actually I didn't buy this one, I bought one before this <laughs> and uh, plugged that one in and I blew it up. Literally didn't even get to use it, it just blew up. So I took it back and then got this one and uh, put it on, put it on right carefully as you do. And uh, literally within 10 minutes, this one blew up and it's never worked since. So um, Samantha's reminded me the reason when I never took it back was because I blew the first one off and I thought, well, it's a bit cheeky to take, take a second one back. But uh, in hindsight, actually, I should have took it back, but uh, I never did. I think it, I'm sure it cost us about 60, 70 quid or something. I know it wasn't cheap. And, uh, and it sat here for two years, uh, not working. So today, we're going to have a little go at taking it apart and see if we can see anything obvious inside. See uh, if we can, if there's a component burnt out, see if we can replace it, that kind of thing. So uh, let's get it on the bench and uh, strip it down. Okay, so the first thing we're going to check is this fuse here. So uh, let's pull that out and have a look at it. Okay, put that on a piece of white paper so you can see it and you can probably see in the middle there the uh, the wire so the fuse uh, has not blown. Uh, we'll put a, a meter across it just to double check. Okay, continuity test. So put the two leads together and we get a zero. Good continuity. So we're going to put it across a fuse and we should have the same if it's a good fuse. There we go. So it's a good fuse. Right, next let's get the back off. Undo the screws. There we go. That's the case off. That's it inside. And there isn't actually a lot to see in there, actually, to be fair. There's not a lot in there at all. And having turned the battery charge around I think I might have seen to me guys let me see here what have we here is that an internal fuse let's have a look right let's get this open let's have a look oh there is a fuse in there it is a fuse it is a fuse Let's have a look. Let's get the meter on it and see what it's doing. Right, guys, there's the fuse. And there is a line across it. Can you see it there in the middle? There's a line across from end to end, which does seem to suggest the fuse is OK. But let's get a meter on it just to be sure. Right, so first of all, let's test the meter. Continuity, zero. OK, let's put it across onto the fuse. We need to see a zero again. Here we go. No. So despite that fuse looking like it's a good one, it actually isn't. It's a duff fuse. Okay, so let's put another fuse in it. So here's our new fuse, and I have just tested this one and it is okay. So let's get this one into the uh, battery charger. Okay, new fuse is now fitted. Let's get the back back on it and uh, test it, see if we found the problem. Okay, so that's the battery charger set up. Ready to go. Let's put it on 12 volts, low setting. Let's switch it on. Here we go. Here we go. There we go. It is working. It is working absolutely brilliant all for the sake of a little internal fuse that you don't even know is there i mean how many people think 
that they've changed that external fuse after a problem and it's still not working so they've chucked these things away crazy all for the sake of what 10 or 15 minutes worth of work and a little fuse fixed okay everyone that's it for today I hope you like that little video I know it's not the usual kind of video we do but uh, it is automotive related Catch you again, guys. See you soon. Take care.